behalf of Courtney and Jared and their families, thank you so much for joining us here today to celebrate this momentous occasion. Courtney, will you take Jared to be your wedded husband, to cherish him and live with him according to God's instruction as seen in the scriptures? Will you pledge your loyalty to him and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and keep yourself for him only as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. <laughs> Hey, Daddy. Wow. Stop, stop. So as I look at my daughter, yes. I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to be your dad. <laughs> You're beautiful. But today, as I watch her marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and confident that she, did Jared, that she and Jared are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness. I know. Okay, we're, we're cool. You have to pull it together so I can pull it I'll, together. Because I'm not giving you away. I'm talking to the preacher already. We're going to fake it. <laughs> I love you. Remember your promises. <laughs> Keep them with all your heart, and you will have that sense of joy and wonder. May God continue to bless you both and grant you safety, love, and happiness all the days of your lives. With all my heart, I offer you my congratulations and best wishes as you begin that new adventure. Jared. Will you take Courtney to be your wedded wife, to cherish her and live with her according to God's instruction as seen in the scriptures? Will you pledge your loyalty to her and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and keep yourself for her only as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Jared, for as long as I can remember, I've been searching for this idea of home. I've moved all over the place looking for it and waiting for it. But nothing ever felt right, leading me to believe I just wouldn't find it until I met you and everything before made sense. I realized that home is not always a place. For me, it's a feeling. And for me, it's you and Peyton. I feel safe with you. I feel strong with you. I feel like I can do anything because I have your love and support. I vow to be strong for you when you feel weak. I vow to always love, cherish, and take care of you. I vow to choose you and only you every day. I vow to be the best bonus mom that I can be to Peyton. I vow to always push you to be better, including relentlessly pushing you to be an Alabama fan. Roll Tide. <laughs> and I vow to be your home and your safe haven for as long as I live. Courtney. Never could words do justice what you truly mean to me. You are my best friend, my foundation, my soup snake, and my equal. You've embraced everything about me since day one, and most importantly, you've embraced Peyton. You've shown nothing but an unconditional love for our family, and I am grateful to share every minute of my life with you. I vow always to encourage you to be your best because you are an extraordinary person. I vow to be your equal and your partner and always work together. I vow to always be honest and open with you. I vow to always share my cereal with you before bed. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, I vow to always love you. Because of the vows Courtney and Jared are taking today, they're creating a new family. And to make that commitment to their family complete, they wish to include Jared's daughter, Peyton, and recognize her as an essential part of their marriage. Peyton, from this day forward, I promise to remind you every day how loved you are, 
I promise to teach, guide, and respect you. And I promise to never treat you like anything less than my own child. From this day forward, you will officially be my bonus daughter and the other love of my life. For as much as Courtney and Jared have consented together in holy marriage and have declared the same before God in the presence of you, these witnesses, I pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jared McFarland. my brother was dating an Alabama football fan, <clears throat> I thought to myself, you need to roll the hell tide out of that relationship. <laughs> but the more I got to know Courtney, the more I saw why Jared loves her. Together, Jared, Courtney, and Peyton are the ultimate trifecta. When I am around them, I am reminded of the sanctity of family. to continue to stand by your side on this day and now be part of your family with Jared and Peyton and stand by their side every opportunity I get. Y'all's relationship is one that endures. The two of you persevere. You work things out. You work hard. You make each other happy. You love one another. And what more is there to a healthy relationship and now a marriage than these things? This is indeed the bedrock for success. And now it's time for you to build something even more beautiful on top of that wonderful foundation. Look, I know I'm, I know I'm an LSU fan, but just for you, Courtney, roll Todd. Yeah. 